Am I the only one that didn't know how dangerous dying on different planets could be? Today, we're diving into a dark but fascinating topic. What would dying on every planet be like? It's a cosmic tapestry woven with threads of physics, chemistry, and a dash of existential dread. We'll be rating each planet from 1 to 10, with 10 being the absolute worst place to meet your end. Think of it as a cosmic game of would you rather, except the choices are all variations of how, rather than if. So buckle up, space cadets, as we embark on a morbid journey through our solar system. If you enjoy this kind of topic, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let's begin our journey. First up is Mercury, the closest planet to our star. Mercury has practically no atmosphere to speak of, which means no cozy blanket of air to trap heat. During the day, the surface temperature can soar to a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit. You'd literally bake faster than a Thanksgiving turkey, but here's the kicker. Mercury's nights are just as extreme. Without an atmosphere to insulate it, the temperature plummets to a frigid minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a swing of over 1,000 degrees. Now imagine being caught in this cosmic tug of war. Death on Mercury wouldn't be instant. It would be a slow, agonizing dance between two extremes. So on our death by planet scale, we're giving Mercury a solid seven. Next, we venture to Venus, often referred to as Earth's sister planet. But don't let that familial nickname fool you. Venus is a hellish world that makes Earth look like a tropical paradise. Imagine stepping out of your spaceship onto the Venusian surface. You'd be instantly greeted by a crushing atmospheric pressure 90 times greater than Earth's. Venus boasts a toxic atmosphere composed mainly of carbon dioxide, with clouds of sulfuric acid for good measure. These clouds trap heat, creating a runaway greenhouse effect that sends temperatures soaring to a toasty 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine being simultaneously crushed, suffocated, and cooked alive in a furnace fueled by sulfuric acid rain. Death on Venus would be swift, but excruciating. It's a solid 9 on our death by planet scale. Ah, Earth, our home sweet home, the one place in the solar system where life and death as we know it exists. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are we even talking about Earth? It's the only place where death isn't a guaranteed cosmic horror show. And you're right to a point. Earth, in its vast cosmic uniqueness, offers a relatively peaceful way to go. We can die of old age, surrounded by loved ones, or even in our sleep, blissfully unaware of the cosmic curtain falling. But here's the thing about Earth, it's also a planet of extremes. We have volcanoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes. So yes, while Earth offers the possibility of a serene passing, it's also a place where death can be sudden, violent, and utterly unpredictable. It's a solid five on our death by planet scale, a perfect balance of peace and peril. Chapter four. Mars, the red planet, has captured our imaginations for centuries. It's the planet we're most likely to colonize, the next frontier in our quest to conquer the cosmos. But let's not sugarcoat things. Mars is a harsh mistress. First off, the atmosphere is incredibly thin, about 1% the density of Earth's. That means you wouldn't explode like a pop balloon, but you'd definitely struggle to breathe. Imagine gasping for air, your lungs desperately trying to extract oxygen from the thin Martian atmosphere. The average surface temperature is a bone-chilling minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Mars is prone to massive dust storms that can engulf the entire planet. So imagine this. You're slowly suffocating, the thin Martian air freezing your lungs with every breath. All while a planet-wide dust storm buries you alive. We're giving it a 6 on our death by planet scale. Chapter 5. Jupiter, the king of our solar system, is a planet of truly epic proportions. It's so big, in fact, that you could fit all the other planets inside it with room to spare. But don't let Jupiter's grandeur fool you. It's a hostile giant that would crush you faster than you can say Great Red Spot. Now, Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface in the traditional sense. It's a gas giant, which means it's mostly swirling clouds of hydrogen and helium. You'd plunge through the upper atmosphere, the pressure increasing exponentially as you descend. The deeper you go, the denser the atmosphere becomes squeezing you from all sides. The pressure would be so immense that it would literally crush your body like a grape in a hydraulic press. You'd then have to contend with Jupiter's intense radiation belts, which are thousands of times stronger than Earth's. It's a solid nine on our death by planet scale, a cosmic death trap. 
Chapter 6, Saturn, the ring jewel of our solar system, is a sight of breathtaking beauty. But beneath those majestic rings lies a planet just as inhospitable as its larger sibling, Jupiter. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant, which means no solid surface to speak of. You'd plunge through its atmosphere, the pressure and temperature increasing with every passing kilometer. The pressure would crush you, the heat would cook you, and the toxic atmosphere would poison you. Imagine being caught in the gravitational pull of those rings, your body tossed about like a rag doll in a cosmic storm. You'd be bombarded by ice and rock, shredded to pieces by the relentless onslaught. It's a solid eight on our death by planet scale, a cosmic demolition derby. Chapter seven, Uranus, a frigid, toxic embrace. Uranus, the ice giant tilted on its side, is a planet shrouded in mystery and as you might have guessed, extreme cold. While not as massive as Jupiter or Saturn, Uranus is still a formidable force of nature. The average surface temperature hovers around minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit, making it the coldest planetary atmosphere in our solar system. Your body would freeze instantly, your blood turning to ice in your veins. Uranus's atmosphere is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, but it also contains significant amounts of methane, ammonia, and water. These chemicals create a toxic cocktail that would poison you just as quickly as the cold would freeze you. Death on Uranus would be swift and merciless. It's a solid seven on our death by planet scale. Neptune, the eighth planet in our solar system, is often seen as Uranus's twin. Both are ice giants with similar compositions, but Neptune takes the cake when it comes to extreme conditions. Neptune is far, far colder than Uranus, with average temperatures plummeting to a bone chilling minus 392 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just a few degrees shy of absolute zero the theoretical temperature at which all molecular motion stops. Your body would freeze solid in an instant, your cells rupturing as the water inside them expands into ice crystals. Neptune is also home to the fastest winds in the solar system, with speeds reaching over 1,200 miles per hour. These supersonic winds would whip around you, tearing you apart atom by atom. It's a solid eight on our death by planet scale. Pluto, our beloved dwarf planet, may no longer be considered a full-fledged planet, but it still holds a special place in our hearts. But don't let that sentimentality fool you. Pluto is a frigid, desolate world. Pluto is incredibly cold, with surface temperatures hovering around minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit. Your body would freeze solid in an instant, your breath forming ice crystals that would fall to the ground like tiny diamonds. Pluto's atmosphere is incredibly thin, composed mainly of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. These gases would freeze solid at Pluto's surface, creating a thin, toxic frost. Death on Pluto would be slow, agonizing, and utterly unforgiving. It's a solid six on our death by planet scale. And now, we come to the granddaddy of them all, the ultimate cosmic killjoy, our sun. Now I know what you're thinking. The sun isn't a planet, and you're right, it's a star a giant ball of burning plasma that powers our entire solar system. But that doesn't make it any less deadly. Imagine for a moment falling into the sun. As you approach this blazing inferno, the temperature would increase exponentially. The heat would be so intense that it would vaporize you instantly, turning your body into a wisp of cosmic smoke. But let's say, hypothetically, that you could survive the heat. You'd then have to contend with the sun's immense gravity. If you were to get too close, you'd be pulled in, stretched and squeezed like a cosmic plaything. It's a solid 10 on our death by planet scale, the ultimate cosmic demise. So there you have it, folks. A cosmic tour of death through our solar system. From the sun-baked plains of Mercury to the crushing depths of Jupiter, we've explored the myriad ways the cosmos can snuff out your life. Let us know in the comments which planet you think would be the worst to die on. And hey, while you're at it, take a moment to appreciate the fact that you're here on Earth, where death, while inevitable, is at least a little less cosmically terrifying. If you enjoyed this thought-provoking discussion, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and engaging with us. See you on our next journey.